Hey everyone, Shebim here and welcome to a video where we're going to be looking at one of the new things in this year's career mode, which are the development plans. Now, they're pretty easy to access. You will see you have a new tab here on your home screen called development. That will take you to your squad hub. And as you can see, there's a new development tab in there as well. And right at the end here, you do have a one called plan. Now, everyone starts with a basic balance plan. And what that means is that all of their stats, as you can see from the side, will all progress at a fairly basic rate for someone of their position. However, if we want to change it and sort of make them a little bit more um, better in certain positions, we can pick the player we want. For example, Dan James. We know we want uh, Dan James to improve in some of his... Um, basically his final play up front so we can have a look and we can see that he's got great pace he's got good dribbling he's shooting and passing is quite weak he's defending the physical is quite weak as well at the moment as you can see the little orange arrows next to all of the stats are roughly how those stats are going to improve if we continue on at the same training so as you can see it's pretty balanced at the moment he is just getting the balanced training but if we move down for example to a wide playmaker that will mean that his attacking position and long shots, vision, crossing, free kick accuracy, short passing, curve and dribbling and stamina will all get improved. But everything else won't get improved as much. It'll also improve his skill moves. Then if we move to wide midfielder, it then goes to vision, crossing, long passing, short passing, composure, ball control, uh, stamina as well. And it will put his attacking work rates, well it's already at high isn't it? Uh, we move to inverted wide midfielder. It's going to improve his weak foot, um, his finishing, attacking position, shot power, vision, short passing and dribbling. And support midfielder, again, is a very different style of per a player as well. Good crossing, long passing, reactions, ball control, standing tackle and interceptions as well. I think what we would probably want is a wide playmaker then. That's going to improve um, quite a few stats that we need uh, Dan James to improve on. So stuff like his vision, his crossing, his short passing. That's the sort of play we want Dan James to become. I mean, if we leave him on balanced, he will improve those stats. Um, but if we put him on the wide playmaker, he's going to improve those stats a lot quicker. And they're going to be more focused in the areas that we want them. So we're going to put him onto a wide playmaker. As you can see at the top now as well, it says wide playmaker. And it says um, progress as well in seven weeks. Now, what that means is that it's going to be in seven weeks' time, he will naturally reach a rating of 78 if everything contains or everything continues on the same. If he has the same amount of game time, he's in the same amount of form, that's how long it will take him to get up to a 78. And hopefully now, his stats will improve in a much better way as well. So it's about, it's about sort of knowing your players and knowing what you want and what they're lacking, essentially. So if we go to another younger player like uh, Mason Greenwood... We can have a look at his stats and see if he's lacking anything we want. He's got decent pace, decent shooting. Um, he's fin I think his finishing's a bit harsh, to be honest. He's a fantastic finisher. Only 79's a bit uh, weak. Um, good passing, good dribbling. Um, he's currently playing out as a right mid. Now, with this one, I think uh, Mason Greenwood, I would like him to be more of a striker. So what we could do here is instead of um, changing to a different type of wide player, we can press R2 and L2 to go to position. And I can actually move him to a new position. So what I would like to do is I would like to train Mason Greenwood to become a striker. Um, and as you can see, training to become a striker will focus on certain stats. Now, this is not a permanent thing. What this will do is, again, you can see at the top of the screen, it's now gone to striker. And instead of showing 77 to 78, it now shows right midfielder to striker four weeks. That means that it will be four weeks doing this training before he will become a established as a striker. So we'll select that and then once that's complete we can come back and then change his style again. Uh, is anyone else want to have a look at here? Um, younger players. It's, it's generally younger players I like to do this on a bit more because they're the players that I want to sort of um, adjust a bit more. You can't do it on players that are out on loan either. So we can use someone like Galbraith. Um, centre defensive mid, Cam and central midfielder a young up-and-coming player and these sort of players i probably would like to keep mostly on balance but if we know roughly what we want for him so for example um we can see he's a defensive midfielder is his main position i would say as a defensive midfielder he's defending a physical ability is not great so if we were to go maybe down the anchorman routes or a ball, uh, ball winning midfielder 
that would greatly improve his physical and his defending stats. So those will be the main stats that will improve this season. So you'll see massive improvement from the defending and physical side and not as much from the rest of his game. So I think it will be a case of just going through and really trying a lot of these different things out. I don't think you want to leave anybody on it. I think you want to make sure you change them as often as you can as well. Uh, Diego Dallo as well, 21 years of age. We can go into here. And we can look at Diego Dallo. I mean, he's a very good winger. Um, but we probably want to improve that so we can go to wide back. We'll go attacking wide back. I don't know why it's called wide back and not wing back on this game, but there you go. That's going to improve sprint speed, acceleration, vision, crossing, short passing, curve, ball control, slide tackle. That's the sort of play we want Diego Dallo to be up and down that line, putting in the crosses and supporting the attacking players. So that is what we would select here. And again, that would definitely improve those stats and make him into a much more interesting wing back. So that is how it works in your squad hub. But there is another way to do this as well. And that is on your younger players in your youth academy. So if we head over to the youth academy, when you start a career mode now, you will start with some young players, which is fantastic. And as you can see, the plan is already in place. So you can start to develop these players while they're still in your youth academy, which is fantastic. So here we have our main star from our academy at the moment, by the looks of it, in Finley Richards. 80 to 94 central defensive midfielder, 6 foot 4, which is pretty good for a 16 year old. Wow, he's a beast, he is. And we can go into that development plan now. So again, he looks pretty good. He's got good pace and good passing already. But again, as a CDM, his defensive and physical stats are pretty low. So again, probably what I would do is put him on the ball winning midfielder. That would really improve his defensive and physical stats and also improve his defensive work rate as well up to a medium. So that's a really interesting thing you can do this year as well is on certain players and on certain uh, things as well and certain... Um, certain stats you can improve that you never used to be able to. So if you change some positions or some styles, you can improve your team's work uh, work rates, you can improve skill moves, you can improve weak foot. It's a really interesting thing you never used to be able to do. So I do like this as a concept. This will obviously make him a much more effective central defensive midfielder in the future. He already has great passing and pace for his age anyway. So now working on that defensive and physical is gonna make him an incredible central defensive midfielder when he does come up. Um, also, look at some of the others. So, Al Young Bang. Um, yeah. Um, again, we've got a 55 rated. He has got um, good pace, good dribbling, which is probably what you do want for a wide player. But if we want to go down the playmaker route, we want him to, to really be good out on that wing. We can make him level up his vision, his crossing, free kick, attacking positions, long passing, and that sort of stuff. So, that's definitely going to improve him. And as you can see, what I was saying earlier on, if you look at the top of the screen, doing this will also improve his skill moves to three star from a two star as well. So that is something you can do this year, which is completely brand new. I think this is going to be a really fun little extra part of the game. For those of us who really like micromanaging some of this stuff, I think it's going to be fun to sort of go through these development plans and sort of uh, periodically look at the players and develop them into the sort of players that we want moving forward. Uh, for example, this wing back here, not very good defensive still, uh, skills or dribbling or passing. So we'll put him onto a wide back to try and develop those skills where we can. And it's going to be a really fun extra aspect to the game. I mean, you can do it on older players as well. Um, but I think for me, it's um, it's more interesting to use it on the players that you really, you're trying to get to break into that first team position. I mean, we could do it on some of the older players like, I mean, Harry Maguire could probably do a little bit of help quickly at the moment. Maybe he could do a bit of a help with his defensive skills. But, I mean, if you know Maguire is going to solely be a defender, why continue training his shooting, his passing, and his pace up? You might as well just dedicate all of his stats to... Um, you can do a ball-playing defender there. You can get some good vision, good passing, and uh, also build up his tackle abilities. Defensive centre-back as well. So, I mean, defensive centre-back would be great for him because it's going to uh, increase his sprint speed and his acceleration as well. So... It is actually very good for all players. I mean, not just the younger players then. And we can really, um, hopefully, get to a point where some of these players will really develop into players that we can use a lot more in the future because we are basically building them into the players we want. Scott McTominay being another one. Um, we want him to be a central defensive midfielder. Again, he's got pretty good balance stats anyway. Let's make sure that he is very, very good at doing his uh, defensive work as a defensive-minded midfielder. 
and it really is going to be interesting to see. Obviously, you want to make sure you uh, you don't go too mad on certain players and you don't completely take away um, other stats. But on some of them that are already quite balanced here, like Van der Beek, we can really develop him into roughly what we want. I think for Van der Beek, I really want to go for like a, a box-to-box -box midfielder. So that's going to improve his pace as well as... Um, some of his stamina is already 92 on him so that's really good so again it's it's a really fun little new aspect of the game which i think can really uh, help us improve some players to the point where they become more useful for us rather than yeah rather than just end up getting thrown away but there we go that's how you use the development plans here on fifa 21 uh, i hope this has been helpful for you if it has then obviously hit that like button of course subscribe if you would like to see some more uh, if you have any questions drop it down in the comment section down below i'll try and help as many as you as i can however you can also help each other as well let me know what you think and let me know um, what sort of players you have changed into what sort of positions and how effective has it been for you i've been shabby gamer thank you much for watching and i'll see you very soon for another video bye